Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, pag-uusapan natin ang distance between vectors. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Pag sinabi natin distance between vectors, ito yung kanyang formula. Kukuhanin natin yung difference ng bawat corresponding components and then square yung bawat difference na yun and then i-add. Afterwards, kukuha na natin ng square root. If you're familiar with the distance formula between two points, dito nakuha or dito related yung formula na yun. For example, we find the distance between these vectors. Una, we have 4, 2 and v na 1, negative 2 yung component. So, sundan lang natin yung formula sa taas. So, we can say that u minus v is equal to the square root of 4 minus 1 squared. Again, ito yung magka-corresponding. Tapos, itong 2 at yung negative 2 squared. And then, we simplify this is 4 squared, of uh, 4 minus 1, that is 3 squared. Tapos, ito ay magiging plus. This will be 4 squared. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. This will result to square root of 25. And the distance between these vectors are 5 units. Recall na kailangan natin yung units na yan dahil distance yung ating pinag-uusapan. Next, paano naman kung ganito? Pause this video and try this one. Challenge ko kayo. After 10 seconds, i-reveal natin yung sagot kung paano kuhanin ang distance between these vectors. So kahit column vector yung involved, same pa rin yung kanyang formula. Kukuhanin pa rin natin yung sum ng square differences ng corresponding components. That's why we have here 10 minus 5 squared plus 3 minus 2 squared plus negative 1 minus 7 squared. So going further, we have 10 minus 5, that is 5 squared. Next, we have 1 squared. And then for this one, we have negative 8 squared. Simplifying these numbers, we have 25 and 1 and 64. So getting their sum, we have 90. Square root of 90. And then we simplify this. Pwedeng ang sagot dito ay radical o kaya estimate natin in decimal na rounded off to the second decimal number. Kung tayo ay magkakaroon dito ng radical form, this is, di ba pwede natin yung i-factor as 9 times 10. Tapos yung 9, kukuha na natin ng square root. This will be 3 square root of 10 units. Or kung gusto mo na gawin yung decimal, that is approximately equal to 9.49 units. So, yan yung distance between those two vectors. Tandaan, pag distance between vectors, ang minimeasure na distance ay yung dalawang head ng vector U at vector V. Yung head din ng vector A kung gano'ng kalayo sa vector B. In the next video, angle between vectors naman yung ating pag-uusapan. Thank you for watching! If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video!